Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Oracle reading. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Bonnie. Hi, Miriam. Good morning, Elisa. Sharon, the way that I run my readings are group readings. Um, so yes, everybody here may definitely receive an Oracle message. Good morning, Miriam. How is everybody doing today? Let us know where you're joining from. Kim, good morning from Miami. Beautiful. I've been there once. Oh my gosh, that was like 16 years ago. <laughs> That's where I got my first tattoo with a fake ID. <laughs> Fun times in Miami. Jody, hello everyone. Hello, Jackie. Miriam is joining from New York. Lovely. If you are not familiar with me, my name is Jackie Mancuso. I am a Reiki master teacher who is joining you from Northern Illinois. We've been having a wonderful summer and I am enjoying every minute that I can outside in the sun. Lindsay, hello Jackie and everyone from Ontario, Canada. Welcome. If you guys joined me yesterday, or I even talked about it a little bit on Friday in my Q&A, um, yesterday we had our triple conjunction of Mars, Uranus, and the North Node. So bringing unexpected change uh, in a dramatic way in benefit of our future. So um, I'm curious to hear actually if anything crazy and outrageous happened in any of your lives, either over the weekend or yesterday. Um, and that conjunction is going to hang out for about a week, a week and a half, depending. Um, sometimes you still feel the energy of events, even when they're not exactly at their uh, peak, right? Because the planets are still slowly moving away from each other. Their energies are still very close as they pull apart. Stefan, I am back. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jackie. I hope everyone is well. Thank you. I am. I hope you are well as well. <laughs> uh, so today we still have that energy going on of, of all of this newness of Uranus with the North Node having to do with our future destiny where we need to go in this lifetime with air quotes. Um, and Mars came to join the party and Mars brings the party. Mars brings like the crazy raging party energy. Um, so today Venus now, she's not next to those planets. Venus is over in Cancer. So those three planets are in Taurus and Venus is going to pass over 18 degrees of Cancer, bringing a nice trine into that. It's a trine aspect. Um, trines are harmonious aspects and Venus is a very beautiful, light, soft, feminine, um, harmonious type of planet. So this beautiful Venus energy is passing through, trining all of this, what can be a harsh or like a negative feel of this triple conjunction. Um, and she's kind of like a palate cleanser, right? She's kind of like picking up all the loose ends that may have left you feeling confused or frustrated. And she's like, mm, I'll just take that. Um, she might bring you some rose colored glasses to see these any uh, any like unexpected shocking change scenarios, she's here to bring you a little bit of relief. Here, put these rose-colored glasses on. It's not going to be all bad. Uh, yeah, just a, a sigh of relief. So, Joy, morning blessings, beautiful souls. Eric, good morning from Seattle. Welcome, both of you. So, if um, there has been anything in your life that is causing you to feel like pulled away from your path is almost the way that, that this feels. Um, but you, your soul knows that it's for your greatest good. This is for the North Node. Um, but our ego doesn't always like to embrace change. Um, so Venus is here today just to give us a little bit, like, like a kiss on the cheek with all of the stuff going on. So what a better deck to read from than Work Your Light. Whenever there's Venus transits, this deck is always the first one to catch my eye. Probably because it's pink and has roses on it, but this is just a very Venus-y feel deck. 
Good morning, Kim. Welcome. <laughs> Elisa, my other favorite deck. It's like you you called to me this week, tel telepathically. Hey, Jackie, use my two favorite decks. Queenie loves this deck also. Jackie's already feeling card one. I love it. So I'm going to shuffle this deck and um, let's see what's going on. Eric, I'm in the middle of an intense detox. Kiss on the cheek from Venus sounds perfect. Yeah, and we can tune into the Venus energy also by taking a minute for ourselves. You know, if you're on this intense detox, like what's going to make you feel better? Do you need to take a nap today? Do you need to take, you know, maybe like a relaxing walk? You don't have to exercise your butt off all the time. You can take a nice stroll once in a while. <laughs> Um, so while I'm shuffling these cards, the messages has, have already come through. So I ask the universe to send us three cards, um, for the group, and I will show you the backs of the three cards. They've already selected themselves from the deck. This is a strong reading, I'd say. Uh, so I'm going to show you the backs of the cards. So they're all going to look the same. Okay. Sharon's been thinking about where to go on vacation curious to see what comes out of these cards. When I show you the cards, I want you to tune into your own intuition because your energy has helped my energy select these cards, right? So there's something in here for you. Tune into all of your physical senses as I'm showing the cards on the screen. I'll pause for a moment with each one. Just tune in to notice if you hear anything, um, if you just know like Jackie mentioned, she's already feeling number one. Jackie comes to my lives a lot, so she's pretty in tune. Um, but if you uh, might feel like a chill somewhere, you might get a tingle in your toes or something. Uh, you might have a familiar taste come in your mouth. All of us have all of these Claire senses. Everybody is psychic. It's just about how much you practice the skills, how often you tune into these things. Everyone is extremely intuitive, right? It doesn't take a special person to have these gifts. We all have these gifts. They're a blessing from the universe. So as soon as you start trusting in them, um, well, I guess it takes some practice to trust them. So here's your practice for today. Kim, I've already selected two. Is that possible without seeing them? Yeah, that is tuning into your claircognizance. So claircognizance is when you just know. There's no rhyme or reason to why you know. Um, you just know. Good morning, AJ. All right, guys. Here is the back of card number one. The back of card number two and the back of card number three. And it is absolutely normal to feel a pull from one card, from two cards, from three cards, or from no cards. Whatever you're feeling right now, just let us know in the chat, see what cards you're working with. And I'll show them one more time just in case. Here is the back again of card number one. The back of card number two. And the back of card number three. Bonnie's working with three. Kaz is feeling one and three. Joy, three for sure. Jennifer, two-ish and three. Got a lot of three energy going on. Hello, Doug. You're loving my astrology course. Thank you. You're working with, uh, oops. Felt drawn to three. Beautiful, Eric. Card one went straight to my heart and two to my head. I love that. Pay attention. See what comes up. Sharon's feeling three. Lindsay's feeling three. Ash, one and three. Miriam's thinking two, messenger of love, drawn to card one, Kim card one. Oh, interesting. Elisa, the color of your screen changed for one and two. Did that happen to anyone else or is that a specific sign for Elisa? Christina one and two, Vanessa's feeling one, messenger of love also feels three. Good morning, Ash, Queenie two and three. 
Jody one and three. So much three energy. Wow. Uh, Kim, after seeing them, one and three pulled me, so I'll take something from all. That is absolutely okay if that feels right to you. Oh, Jackie, you saw the color change as well. Interesting. Uh, Kayla, strongly one, two a little less, and three has me swaying. Mmm, Stefan, loving number one. Carmen's feeling two. Stefan, number one. Card looked transparent. Interesting. Wait, one, yes. Two, meh. <laughs> Three, no. I love it. I love, uh, I love watching the progression of the, the intuition of you guys here. I know that all, literally all I'm seeing are your text types, uh, but it's fun because I have lots of repeat people come here and I can watch you guys unfold as uh, as we go. I love it. Um, this deck is another one where the cards are all over the place. So bear with me. Um, and you guys know that there's a lot of words that I come across that I've never seen before, especially all of these uh, woo-woo type things, which I love. Um, I've just never seen this word, but it's calling us to Imrama. If anyone has ever heard of Imrama, let's uh, see if I'm saying that right. Eric, it's more than text typed. I'm feeling a lot of beautiful energy from everyone here. Ah, likewise, Eric. Um, so this card is asking, where are you being called to journey to? Oh, it's a Celtic word. I guess I have some difficulty with the Celtic words. The Celtic word Imrama means a journey of the soul. A voyage on which we don't know where we are going, but our soul knows the way. My goodness, isn't this what I was just talking about with this Uranus-North Node-Mars conjunction? If you pulled this card, you are either being called on a soul journey or are already on one. It could be to a physical ancient place or metaphoric. When we journey to places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place, both within us and to the planet as well. You are being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Perhaps it is to journey to the world's sacred sites or called to cross the country, climb a mountain, lie on the desert floor, or drink from an ancient well. There are places to see and old friends to meet. I see spontaneous pilgrimages in your future. If a physical voyage isn't possible, journey through the portal of your heart. Follow the invisible soul trail and be willing to explore. Maybe read a book or watch a movie about a sacred time or place. Or perhaps you are being called to study an ancient lineage or body of work. Whatever your circumstances, your soul is ready to journey deep. There is um, a activation message for this card. So if this is calling to you, I invite you to place your hands on your heart at this time and receive this message. May seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. I am ready to remember ancient secrets from lands that my soul knows from times past. May I be held by the ancient lineages that my soul has served and remember that I don't have to do it all alone. Wow, so if this card is resonating with you or you were drawn to it, um, your soul wants to journey and explore in one of its past lineages. Um, and this is something it is extremely difficult to consciously know where your past life comes from. Um, but if there's a place that you're just drawn to for some reason, if you have the opportunity to physically travel there, bringing your energy into the energy of the place that you're drawn to can be a magical experience. Things can happen and people can pop into your life and, um, like experiences will just unfold themselves when you physically bring yourself to the place where your soul is calling you to. Of course, sometimes travel is not always a option, an option, um, but 
luckily we have this thing called the internet that you can travel in lots of different ways. Um, if there is a place that you are being called to, maybe do some research about it. Maybe look up, oh my gosh, just like common jobs of ancient wherever you're being drawn to and see if any of those resonate with you. You know, there might be a line of work that just calls to you and you just know, man, I used to be a blacksmith in Ireland, you know? Um, a lot of times when you just take a moment and like dip your toes into something that is prevalent in your life for a reason that you don't know, things start to unfold. Let's see what you guys are saying. Kayla, the Akashic Records popped into my awareness while you were reading. Interesting. I wonder if you're being called to dive into a past life, if there's a message that your past self has for you. I love it. Kim, wow, that definitely resonates. Eric, wow, wow, wow. Images of the land um, we helping turn into an eco-village. My soul needs to be there, but I haven't been able to because of my health. An eco-village, that sounds very interesting. <sighs> Who says your soul needs to do anything? Even when I was talking about the North Node earlier, I put needs in uh, air quotes. Everything, you're always in the right place at the right time. Everything that you are doing now is serving your highest and greatest good. It, there's nothing that you need to do. There are ways around limitations. The universe gives us limitations in order for us to be more creative with the ways that we give. If that makes sense. Jennifer, I wrote a book about an ancient Celtic healer in Cornwall. It was life-changing. I love that. I love that. Diving into that energy probably was so healing for your soul. I love it. Sharing the same thing, Akashic Records. That's where my heart went to. I love it. Um, if you would like to have me read your Akashic Records, I do do that. I do offer Akashic Records readings. Um, so you can find my website on my Insight Timer profile if you would like to dive in. And we can do just like a Q&A session where you can look uh, for answers from your past self, we can see if there are cords or contracts that you need to clear, vows that are, not that you need to clear, okay, I just caught myself, uh, contracts and vows that it's time to clear them from your current incarnation. Um, so yeah, I'd love to work with you guys. Belle, I almost fell off my perch. Spot on for me. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. All right, if card two resonated with you, you are working today with the energy of the priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Thank you kindly, Eric, for your donation. Very much appreciated. The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom, and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realize that we're actually all in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward, too. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is in your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies, or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are, and might only be one step behind you. Hell, they may even be right alongside you. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggles, the peaks, and the troughs. 
You don't need to know the way. Just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. If that card resonated with you, there are two questions to ponder on. Um, and I always put these oracle readings in the group that I have on Insight Timer in our spiritual community. So I will definitely put these there um, so you can refer back to them. But how are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? Let's see what you guys are saying. See ya, Eric. Thank you, everyone. I'm off to sit on my pillow. Thank you for the love, light, and energy. You are very welcome. Have a great day, Eric. Doug. Oh my god, need a Kashuk Record review? That sounds awesome. I have received flashes of insight in meditation. I love it. I love it. Elisa, this card resonates so deeply. Cleany got chills. Ash, wow, this card is for me. Yeah, so this card is letting you know because I feel like this message comes up a lot for us. There's something that you are being called to step into a leadership role and you may not be sure of how to do it, but it's okay. The universe supports you, right? That message comes through all the time. This one specifically is telling us to share your story. Because there's, um, like, how do I say it? By sharing your story, you're being vulnerable and opening yourself up. So it could be scary, right? You don't want to admit your failures. You don't want to admit things that have embarrassed you. Sometimes, I mean, like, we have this, this term in our society, TMI. Um, I don't believe in TMI, right? Like, there's a time and a place for things, I guess. Um, but if if other people get uncomfortable with what you're talking about, it's on them to either say something or leave the conversation, right? Um, so if there's something that you think can help others, like some hardship that you've been through, stand up and share your story because there's so many people on this earth who are either going through a very similar thing, have gone through a similar thing, or will go through a similar thing, and your story of how you were able to work through it and all of the ups and downs will help guide everybody else you know especially like like this healing type work it, the best healers in the world aren't perfect the best healers in the world came from shit like they came through the darkest place of themselves and they are still working on bringing themselves into the light um it's not about being perfect at anything. It's about being willing to grow and learn and experience along the way. Christina, I need to let go of thinking I need a family or a career in order to have a purpose. Oh, Christina, I love it. The fact that you are aware of that is a, a huge green flag. Green light. Jennifer with all the green hearts. Jackie, what was the second question? Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, Jackie, how can you be the leader you wish you had? Powerful. Powerful, powerful. We're all waiting on card three. Card three was super strong today. Lots of us are feeling it. And I think there's a reason. <laughs> I'm gonna build the anticipation for a second. No, I'm just kidding. This is a good card. If card three resonated with you, which it did so many, I thought the card didn't resonate until you said that about sharing your story love it. Thanks for sharing that, Lindsay. Card number three is Awakening. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you 
and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. Did anyone else just get chills? You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling kundalini shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and stay grounded. Share your experiences with soul-like people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books, and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. So if this card has resonated with you, and I know that's a whole bunch of us today, please place your hands on your heart and receive this message. I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe, using me in a way that delights my mind, body, and spirit. So boom, just a little bit more confirmation, guys, that you are in the process of awakening. Um, this hit back at both of our cards. It was talking about sharing your story. And it was talking about, Bonnie, there aren't enough hearts. Uh, it was talking about sharing your story and your soul is awakening to past life truths. So what a beautiful way to wrap that all up. What are you guys thinking about um, birthing into this world? What is it that you are uh, going to bring to us? Kayla, the first step to change is awareness. 100%. Emily, yes, I was just able to show up and that resonates a lot. Oh, I love it. I love that your guides send you here at the perfect time when they have a perfect message for you. Jennifer, wow, yes. I love it. So before I pull from Ask Your Guides, um, I guess I'm being called to share my story, which is something that I actually, it crossed my mind when I was talking about this uh, triple conjunction and now Venus is here bringing a little bit of light to it. Um, so here we go. Here's a personal story from Jackie Mancuso. Um, so for some time, I, we've been trying to conceive. I just got married last year. Uh, we're working for a baby. And the last few weeks I had, there was one day in particular that I had one, two, three, like concrete signs. Like, yep, you're pregnant, it's coming. Cool. So then I decided to test the, not test the universe, but I asked the universe in my very specific way. I said, universe, if there is a human growing inside of me uh, within the next 24 hours, please show me a cartoon sun with rays coming out of it. Uh, and I happened to see that within the next 24 hours. So I was dead set. Man, the universe has given me these signs. Like, yeah, it's, it's coming. Here it is. Um, to find out yesterday morning that I, in fact, am not pregnant. And it took me the whole day, right? I don't know if I... I was off yesterday. Uh, this was this was right before the oracle reading yesterday, so I was upset. Um, I kind of felt like the universe misled me. Um, not that it lied to me, but I was wondering, like, what am I doing wrong? Like, what I, I, the messages were so clear. Like, how could I get this wrong? It's never, you know, it's never been wrong before. 
Um, and I was texting with my sister-in-law this morning and she brought up the fact that those signs aren't always to confirm what we believe, but they're to guide us. Um, and last night, actually, I had a few dreams about how to process sadness instead of stuffing it in. And I believe that that is the, the biggest thing right now that I'm working on is I'm working on going into my shadow and finding all of this repressed stuff and trying to pull it out of me. And I believe that right now the universe is pointing me to work through sadness. So with all this Uranus, Mars, North Node stuff, right? Like it was an unexpected change to, to wake up to the universe misleading me. And the Mars energy just brought me, brought me down. I had a really bad day yesterday. Um, but now today Venus is here on the swoop, right? She's coming to bring that breath of fresh air. And it, I didn't reach out to my sister-in-law for support. Like she reached out to me this morning just to check in, see how things are going. So thank you, Venus, for bringing that uh, rose-colored glasses to the situation. So there is... Uh, uh, one example of how we can use these energies of the planets right now. So if you did receive not any type of bad news, but something changed in your life that took you off course, but taking you off course is kind of like realigning you to your highest course, your highest path. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Kim, no wonder they all resonate. Jackie, could you read the last sentence of the Awakening card, please, if I can find it? Yes. Um, Jackie, here's the... Were you asking about the Work Your Light activation? I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself to the universe, using me in... I open myself to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, body, and spirit. I hope that is what you are asking for. Let's see. Oh, oh, so much love joining, or so much love <laughs> pouring in. Looks like my internet's going slow again, too. Oh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, Kayla, no wonder I was swaying. Monica completely agrees with Bonnie. Thanks for the heart, Emily. Doug resonates so strongly. My heart is opening in a whole new way. I love it. Jennifer, finalizing middle grade series with my agent. Birthing books for kids. I love it. And I love that they were inspired by my ancestors. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Joy has a book that's waiting to be birthed into the world. Still absorbing, Lonnie. Yes, so absolutely. If you guys are not in my group, spirit, or our spiritual community, feel free to join it. There's a link in my Insight Timer bio. Because, um, yeah, sometimes these messages need a couple days to sink in. Hello, Dr. Monica. Cynthia, birthing. Currently doing inner child healing, and it feels like I'm birthing my true self. Thankfully, I have a midwife who's an awesome therapist. I love the way that you're reading that situation. I love it. Send uh, Kim sending warm hugs. Thank you, Kim. Joy, you know uh, that you are where you should be. I do. Um, and it was like a what the fuck moment. <laughs> I should be a mom, right? That's how I've been feeling for a long time. But I, I know, I know. Uh, Monica, my hubby and I are on the same journey. Thank you for sharing your journey. See, I knew that there was a reason. Monica, you're here all the time. I, I knew that there was something that clicked. Bonnie, time is funny stuff. The energy may not have meant right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you, Carmen. There's a message, and that is the work before you bring the baby into the into the picture. Yeah, oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> I know that there's something that needs to be done before because I'm going to have magical children, guys. They're going to be just like little, little light beings running all over the world. And they're, yeah. Thank you, Joy. Oh, Jackie, be praying for you. Thank you. Hi, David. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everybody. Yes, everybody gets a balloon today. 
David, you're going to need about 95 more balloons. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the red balloons. All right, everyone. So now that we know that we are meant to connect, our soul knows where we are. Our soul is drawn to a certain place or time for a reason. There are messages there for you. We are also being told to share your story in order to lead others, right? And these things are presenting themselves to you because you are in a time of awakening. Your soul is awakening to ancient truths. And as you learn these ancient truths, be sure to share them with all of those around you in order to help them awaken as well, right? Let's see what Ask Your Guides has to say today. What message would our guides like to bring in to wrap up this reading? Perhaps to answer any lingering questions. If you have been enjoying today's session, any donations are always greatly appreciated, however never expected. If you haven't followed me on Insight Timer, feel free to click on my face on the bottom right corner and follow me so you can be updated when I post new classes. And if um, you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me, my website is in my Insight Timer bio, where you can also find the link to our spiritual community to join me in my group here. The card that came for us today is family from the Holy Spirit. The keywords for this card are security, elation, peace, and family harmony. The Holy Spirit is touching your soul, bringing about a deeper sense of peace and security. The challenges of the recent past are met and thankfully you've survived. Due to the Holy Spirit's influence, your trials have only strengthened your capacity to love, leaving you with an even deeper appreciation of those you love. The Holy Spirit particularly shines on your family and home as it heeds your prayers and oversees all well-being at this time. There's no need to fret over your parents' health, your children's safety, or your siblings' happiness. All is well. Ask the Holy Spirit to expand your capacity and move beyond personal love and include all of humanity in your prayer for peace. Entreat the Holy Spirit to brighten your aura and allow others to see you as a source of contentment. The Holy Spirit's message is peace be with you. Just a beautiful blessing letting us know that all is well. Everyone is in the place that they are supposed to be in at this time. I know sometimes it can be difficult to go through hardships in your family. Sickness, loss, watching family in a not-so-great situation in their lives. But this card is here to remind us that it's not our burden to carry. There's a difference between offering love and enabling or supporting a habit. Trust that the Holy Spirit is watching over all of us as much as it is watching over all of our family. And this is extended family as well, such as the family that we have here on Inside Timer. Bonnie, that card is for all of us. <laughs> We're all connected. <laughs> We're all the same. I am you and you are me. Oh, wow. I think, again, my messages are going slow. Jackie, that was the sentence. Thank you, and thank you for sharing your story. Much love at this time. Thank you, Jackie. Monica, thank you kindly for your donation. David, also, I believe thoughts of wrong or right are inaccurate. Wrong by whose definition? I definitely agree with that. Yep, everything in this world just is. We're the ones that decide if it's right or wrong. 
Doug, the message may have been from your future child that he or she is on their way. It'll happen. Thank you, Doug. Ash, my only two cents would be to enjoy the process. My friend went through the same things, but when she took the stress out of the equation, everything happened for her, and she has three beautiful girls. Oh, I know, I know all of these things, but my ego is making it difficult to swallow. But thank you guys for sharing. Thank you, thank you. Wade, thank you for your story. Experiencing all of life, the ups and downs is experiencing the fullness of being in a body. I appreciate you, Jackie. I appreciate you, Wade. It is about experiencing all. It's not meant, we're not meant to be love and light 100% of the time. Sometimes you need to sit with your sadness. You need to sit with your being pissed off and ask why. Like, why are these emotions coming up? What is it triggering in me that has been sitting in me for so long? It, and if you just push it away and turn to, oh, it's going to be fine, everything's going to be great, then you're just shoving it down, waiting for it to be triggered by the next thing. But if you sit with it and you ask, why? Why am I so upset that this happened? Like, wh what about me is attached to this? Let yourself feel the feelings. Let yourself cry it out. Let yourself scream it out if you have to. It, it, it gets it out of you. What else are we talking about? Security, elation, peace, security. Love it, Dr. Monica. Thank you. Security, elation, peace, security. A perfect card for each of us, and especially you. Thank you, Jackie. Sharon, much gratitude for your ideas and wisdom. Thank you. Tracy, beautiful. Nicole, choked up a little on that one. Love it. Sounds like that hit home for you. Kiana, this card is confirmation. Thanks so much. You're very welcome, Kiana. Thank your guides for leading you here to receive that confirmation. Let's, uh, let's um, meditate for a minute, and I will transmit, transmit some Reiki energy. So at this time, I invite you to come into a comfortable position, whether that's laying down or sitting with a straight spine, whatever is most comfortable for you. Joy, I like it. I don't ask why. I ask what is the lesson. Love it. Love it. I will talk you through a grounding meditation, connecting in with our bodies. And then I will transmit some Reiki energy, followed by talking you out of the meditation. And then we will wrap things up. So taking a few deep breaths as you make all of your micro adjustments. Take care, Kayana. And on an out breath, allowing your eyes to gently float closed. Feeling into all of the contact points your body has with the surface beneath you. And just noticing how the weight of your body is completely and effortlessly supported by Mother Earth. And now bringing all of your awareness directly above the crown of your head in an egg-shaped white orb of light. Spending a moment here as we separate our awareness from our physical body. Viewing life from your eagle's perch. And acting as the curious observer as this egg of awareness cracks on the crown of your head, flowing your awareness down all sides. 
feel it flowing down the back of your head, running off the temples, forehead, eyebrows, eyelids, and eyelashes, dripping off the nose, flowing further down the cheeks, down your ears, further down the back of your head, dripping off the lips, the chin, and the jaw, flowing down all sides of the neck, flowing out into the shoulders, down the upper arms, passing over the elbows, down to the forearms. Coming out into the wrists, the hands, and into each finger. And bringing all of your awareness into your chest. Spending a moment here, tuning into the beating of your heart. Noticing the ribs as they expand and contract with the breath. Flowing your awareness down the front side of your body, dripping into the belly as you feel into the organs resting behind the abdomen. Watching how the breath causes the belly to rise and fall. Flowing further down, settling in the pelvic floor. And bringing all of your awareness now to your upper back. Slowly flowing down the back side of your body. Dripping off the shoulder blades. Weaving in and out the backs of the ribs. Flowing down the mid back. down the lower back, coming into your glutes, and flowing your awareness down the upper legs, passing over the knees, down to the lower legs. And passing over the ankles, coming into the tops of your feet, into each toe, and the soles of your feet. 
Breathing deeply now as you feel into your entire body. Expanding your awareness through every cell of your body at once. And using the breath now to open the central channel of energy by breathing in deeply through the nose, and watching the breath as it travels down your spine all the way to the root chakra in your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, watch the breath reach up the spine to the crown of your head. Inhaling down to the root, exhaling up to the crown. Continue for a few rounds in silence. Releasing the breath back to your natural rhythm. As you begin to imagine roots growing down from each contact point your body has with the surface beneath you. Watching these roots as they travel down into Mother Earth. Pushing through the soil, digging deeper, and digging wider, firmly grounding yourself into Mother Earth. and welcoming in your guides and angels for any assistance they may have to offer at this time. allowing permission for the Reiki energy to be received by intending to completely surrender to this Reiki energy as it nourishes your highest good. Bringing your focus now back inside of your body, allowing your thoughts to flutter away as you receive this precious gift of time for yourself. Allow yourself to be fully present within your body, noticing anything that may
returning your focus to your breath. And feeling into the weight of your body resting in space. Imagine a brilliant glowing ball of sparkling emerald green light in the center of your chest. This warm ball of light surrounds your entire heart. On each inhale, this light becomes brighter and more vibrant. And on the exhale, the ball begins to grow in every direction throughout your body. Inhaling as the light shines brighter and exhaling as the ball grows larger and larger until it encompasses your entire body. The emerald green light slowly fades away as the connection to this Reiki energy transmission closes, allowing you to return home to yourself. And taking the time now to send gratitude to your guides and angels and listening in to receive any last messages. And slowly beginning to bring some movement back to your body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rolling out the wrists and ankles, and stretching out your body however it's calling you to. Perhaps bringing the palms of your hands together, rubbing them back and forth, creating friction, creating heat. And cupping the warm palms over the eyes blinking the eyes open, allowing the light to peek in through the cracks as you gently and slowly bring yourself back to your physical body. Thank you so much for joining me today. Love to all. Namaste. Christine, namaste. Joy, namaste. Sending love and light to all of you and to the world. Thank you, Joy. Jackie, thank you very much for your donation. It's much appreciated. Thank you everyone for joining me here today. Let me know how that Reiki transmission was. Perhaps if any of the messages from our Oracle reading had a chance to settle in, maybe are shining in a new light. Dr. Monica, namaste all. Thanks for sharing this beautiful energy. Yes, thank you all for uh, sharing the love and the energy today. I do love these oracle readings. <laughs> I love the group that we have here. Ash, have a good day, everyone. And Jackie, you too as well. Thanks, Ash. Doug, thanks, Jackie, for your amazing energy and gifts of Reiki. I felt it for sure. Beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful, glad to be of service. As lovely as always. Well, thank you. If you have enjoyed today's session, if you'd like to offer an energy exchange in the form of a donation, they are always appreciated. Um, if you haven't followed me on Insight Timer, please consider following my profile so you can receive notifications when I post my new classes. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one for healing or for readings, um, either Oracle or Tarot or Akashic Records, uh, my website is available on my Insight Timer bio. So you can reach out to me there and um, yeah, I can tap into your specific energy. Although these group readings are extremely effective, I feel like we get a whole lot out of them every time. <laughs> Jackie, namaste. I'm happy I followed the signs that led me to join you today. I am happy as well. I love when we listen to our guides, when we listen to the universe. It always drops us in exactly the right spot because we are always in the right, I'm always in the right place at the right time. We are always in the right place at the right time. And everything that is happening now is for your highest and greatest good how difficult. I will be putting the recap of today's reading in our spiritual community here on Insight Timer. Um, it's the group that I, uh, I formed here, so if you are not a part of it and would like to be, click on my face and go to, I think it's my about section, uh, or it should be right on my homepage. I don't know. There's a link somewhere in my profile to our spiritual community to join the group. Um, for the oracle updates and also for sharing and receiving love and advice and spiritual experiences and meditations and whatnot. So I will be back here on Thursday at the same time as today, 8.15 Central Time. Alrighty, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, tune into the energy of Venus, giving us a little bit of a breath of fresh air with uh, some of the unexpected change that may be occurring in your life or in the world. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much, as always. Namaste. We'll see you very soon. Take care.